Mother of one of the first graders killed in the tragedy at Sandy Hook pleaded today that the 911 recordings and the crime scene photo photographs rather never be released. A special task force on crime victims privacy must make recommendations to the General Assembly in just 60 days. Chief Political Correspondent Mark Davis was at that hearing earlier today. He joins us live now with more. Good evening, Mark. Hi, Keith and Ann. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. You may remember that earlier this year, the General Assembly voted to keep those crime scene photos from being released. Well, this task force could change that, but they will definitely rule on whether or not to release the 911 recordings. My son Dylan was murdered on December 14th at Sandy Hook Elementary School, along with 19 other first graders and six educators. Task force members sat in rapt silence as Nicole Hockley pleaded that they recommend that the ban on releasing the crime scene photographs be extended forever. Imagine seeing your child's body or your spouse's body on the television, in the paper, on the internet, mailed to your front door. Imagine your child seeing their sibling or mother that way. And she joined the husband of slain school psychiatrist Mary Sherlock, pleading that the 911 recordings from that day also remain sealed. Imagine hearing gunshots or muffled screams and wondering which one was your child. She said she worries about Dylan's nine-year-old brother, and the siblings of other slain first graders and what they might find on the internet. The countless news stories, some with balanced sensitive reports, others riddled with speculation and incorrect facts, or photos of his little brother with five gunshot wounds to his torso and head. Bill Sherlock told me he thinks the correct compromise is to only release written transcripts of the 911 calls. If we need to get someplace in the middle, and that's what a negotiation is all about, that's what the balance is all about, could we accept that? I, st I would be able to accept that. And Nicole told me today that she wants anything that would identify individual victims in the final police report to be removed before it's released. Anything that can identify anyone in terms of uh, exactly where they died, how they died, their wounds, anything like that, that, it, that is just as bad as a photo. Nicole also told me today that she is hoping that whenever the police report is released, that it's nowhere near December the 14th, the first anniversary of the tragedy at Sandy Hook. And of course, we still don't know when that report is coming out. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.